What's up? TV land. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Figured it'd make a good intro. Now you got a gym montage. Barbells, squats, green plates, more squats, blurry shots, barbell, Cody benching an empty bar, black bar, grip in the bar, flat build hat. Maybe I kissed the bar a little bit. Maybe I didn't. White shirt, three quarter sleeve, blue plates, power belly, gym montage over. Friday the 13th, you guys, some say it's an unlucky day, but I say it's an extremely lucky day because I got myself a new toy. Saw on the Facebooks, a guy posted this Forza power rack with a Forza bench for an extremely low price, like a scary low price, like a, is this shit stolen low price? Because the bastard's basically brand new. Um, but no, this nice gentleman was just simply not in use of this power rack and was willing to let it go for a very reasonable almost too reasonable of a price and so I purchased these items and I am very happy with my purchase so yeah what you're looking at here some pause squats some very long pause squats because I got this new rack and I was like dude you wanted to do a stupidly long pause squat for a very long time. Uh, now you got the safeties, you could totally do this and be like super duper safe. So like, just do it. And I did. And guess what? It's about to be awesome. Let's count here. One, two, three, four, five. We're not gonna count anymore. I'm just gonna tell you right now. It's like 12 seconds long or something. I had my phone running in front of me and no lie, all those super long, I thought I was gonna die. However, that's a PR for me uh, in terms of thinking I'm going to die because that shit was really hard. High bar, no belt though, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, enough about this whole lifting weight stuff. What you guys are seeing here is nothing fancy. That pause squat was the only really fancy thing in the whole video. So you're going to either watch boring lifts or listen to me talk, which hopefully isn't as boring as like other things maybe you're like putting off doing homework or something so I want to talk about something that like a few things actually that I've been thinking about this pretty awesome weekend the first thing is hey you guys I just passed 3,000 subscribers so thanks to all of you that's flipping awesome I never thought I would get so many people to like me lifting weights like holy shit that's a lot of people and I'm sure not all of them are active but to those of you who like these videos, who comment on these videos, who share these videos, thank you. I appreciate it. And, you know, it just helps me kind of get my ideas out there, get some feedback, whether or not I'm crazy. Uh, you know, and it just, it's nice to have, you know, people to talk to on the internet about lifting weights and stuff. And it's nice to have people that I help by lifting weights, because, you know, lifting weights is cool. And I enjoy it. And you guys enjoy it too. And uh, if I can help you guys lift weights and get stronger, then that's freaking awesome. I enjoy that a lot more than even lifting weights. So yeah, thanks you guys. 3,000 subscribers, super stoked. Now, next thing I want to talk about is the general fitness YouTube lifting community and like my thoughts on that. So, you guys, first things first, fitness YouTube community, awesome. There's a bunch of really great people, guys and gals doing great things on the fitness YouTube and a lot of them they all they all do their own thing and if you don't like it then you don't like it but if you do like it then you do like it there's a whole bunch of drama involved that uh, I didn't even really know was going on until like just this last weekend somebody linked me into a, a thread on a, a Max Tuning's channel I think I don't know I, I forget where it was at but you know, I, it, it kind of opened my eyes up to like, dude, it's it's freaking lifting weights, who cares? Like, And I've said this before, but lifting weights should not define who you are as a person. It's literally so easy a caveman could do it. I mean, that's, that's not an analogy for buying car insurance. That's 
a statement of fact, like cavemen could lift weights. They, they probably were really good at it. Like they were probably super good at it, like way better than you and I at it. I'm like 90% positive the best people at lifting weights today are a higher percentage of cavemen than people who aren't as good at lifting weights. If that makes sense, if you buy that whole caveman, homo sapien, inbreeding kind of genetic lineage. I'm just saying science words right now. So yeah. Lifting weights, you guys. It's lifting weights. Like, who cares? Just lift the damn weights. Doesn't make you a man. Doesn't make you a badass. Whatever. And on the whole fitness YouTube thing, like, just let them do them. Some people like the vlogs, some people don't like the vlogs, some people want to see what other people are eating to like be more healthy and have a, a more aesthetic body. You know what I eat? I eat Oreo cookies. I think I ate like two rows out of a tray of Oreo cookies today and I had a whole bunch of whole milk and it was delicious. And I also had a bagel and uh, like two or three white monsters and... Oh, a baked chicken, that was delicious. And yeah, like, to me, that's, who gives a shit? If I showed you guys what I was eating, people would be like, holy fuck, dude, like, how are you still alive? You get 90% of your nutrients from 7-Eleven. Which brings me to my next topic, you guys, is if it fits your burrito, it's coming. I'm just throwing that out there. I-I-F-Y-B, yes it does. It all fits your burrito. It's gonna be awesome. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. And yeah, went on a little tangent there. I got burritos in my mind. Back to the fitness YouTube thing. Gonna go more directed towards the powerlifting community on the fitness lifting YouTubes. You guys, read this poem. Whoa, poem? Cody, come on. We can't read. You guys, seriously, I'll read this poem. It's called A Dream Deferred. It's by Langston Hughes. And it talks about how... And what happens to a dream deferred? Does it shrivel and die? Basically, that's kind of like how the poem goes. If I was going to TLDR this, like, three stanza poem. So, you guys, no, it doesn't. Dream Deferred does not shrivel and die. Dream Deferred, it lives. So long as you keep it in your mind if you keep it inside you then it lives and it burns like a fire and you know what how does that apply it to lifting well in powerlifting and weightlifting and athletics of any sort what really matters is the realization of your dream in that competitive arena and in powerlifting especially now that YouTube has seemed to have blown up with powerlifting, or maybe I'm just more aware of it and it's confirmation bias, but I see a lot of people lifting these heavy weights in the gym and not putting up outstanding numbers on the platform. Uh, and it's unfortunate, because they don't have a dream deferred. They have a dream to crush a heavy deadlift or squat or bench and post it on Instagram, and then everyone gets all this hype, the person shows up to a meet and they suck or they do not nearly as good as they had expected. Suck is too much of a word. It's too harsh of a word. But you know what? I feel pretty good about my, my performance because I understand the lesson that Langston Hughes was talking about in that poem. You guys, he was, he was talking about just, you know, putting off that instant gratification so you can realize a much better feeling somewhere later down the road. And you know what? Nothing feels greater than doing these boring lifts. Everything that you've seen for the last 8 minutes and 38 seconds, 39 seconds, 40 seconds, 41 seconds, all of those prior minutes and seconds has been super boring lifts. Super duper boring. But you know what? That's, that's what really goes into the making of someone who is getting better consistently on the platform. And I'm going to toot my own horn here, but, you know, somebody, this guy, just got a PR total, PR'd on all of his lifts, and got all white lights. Now, I didn't win my weight class. I didn't win best lifter. But you know what? I, I realized a dream, and that's to get better. 
and I, I did it to you guys. And you guys could do it too. Don't go into the gym and try to crush these heavy weights and mimic what you see on the YouTubes and on the Instagrams. Because that's not what's going on behind the scenes. What's going on behind the scenes is really boring shit like you just watched. you got to put in the work. Accumulate reps. Accumulate that volume, that tonnage. And gradually over the course of time with sustainable training, get strong. And then you realize that dream on the platform of getting a PR total. Thanks for watching.